Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get to med school and other professional programs. Today, we are going to be talking about one of the most important senses for you to understand on the MCAT. This high yield topic spans both the bio biochem and chem phys sections. We're going to jump into our discussion about hearing. So listen up. Hearing is the sense that allows us to perceive sounds and understand speech. It is a complex process that involves different structures and pathways within the ear and the brain. In this video, we'll discuss the anatomy of the ear, the process of hearing, and the auditory pathway. Let's start with the outer ear, the part we all love and can see. The outer ear consists of the pinna or auricle. Now this is the, the fleshy bit that hangs off. The external auditory canal, which is the hole, and the external auditory canal, which is the hole. The pinna helps us collect sound waves and direct them into the ear canal. It helps give us a little bit of directionality on where the sound came from. The ear canal at the ends of the tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum, when sound waves hit the eardrum, they cause it to vibrate, which in turn sets the process of hearing in motion with the middle ear. The middle ear is located between the eardrum and the inner ear. It is connected to the nasal cavity by the eustachian tubes, which help to equalize pressure on both sides of the eardrum. The middle ear contains three small bones called the ossicles. We have the malleus, the incus, and the stapes, or stapes, also known as the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. The ossicles amplify the vibrations from the eardrum and transmit it to the inner ear. The malleus is attached to the eardrum while the stapes rests on the oval window of the cochlea, which is part of the inner ear. The inner ear is a complex structure that consists of the bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth. The bony labyrinth is a series of channels and cavities in the temporal bones, filled with a fluid called perilymph. The membranous labyrinth is a series of fluid-filled sacs and tubes that are suspended within the bony labyrinth and contain the sensory cells responsible for hearing and balance. The cochlea is part of the membranous labyrinth and is the primary structure responsible for hearing. It is a coiled tube that looks a lot like a snail shell, and it contains the sensory cells called hair cells that convert sound vibrations into electrical signals that can then be sent to the brain. Well, how? What's the pathway? The MCAT loves asking auditory pathway problems. Let's start at the bottom. This is where our cochlea is. This is where we first are starting to transmute the sound from a physical wave into an electrical signal. Essentially, the auditory pathway is that which takes from the cochlea to the auditory cortex in the temporal. When the hair cells in the cochlea are stimulated by sound vibrations, they send electrical signals to the auditory nerve, which is part of cranial nerve 8. The auditory nerve carries the signals to the brainstem, specifically to the cochlear nucleus, which is first the first processing center for auditory information. From there, the signal is going to move to the superior olivary nucleus, superior olive, which is responsible for localizing the sound in space. Where is the sound? The signals will then move up to the inferior colliculus, which is involved with the startle reflex. This is very, very key. You want to make sure this is in your Anki notes if it is not already. The signals will then move on up to the medial geniculate nucleus, also known as the medial geniculate body, depending on who's asking. Typically, the MCAT is going to ask it as medial geniculate nucleus, or LGN, or MGN. And from our medial geniculate nucleus, we are finally going to move up to the auditory cortex, where sound is going to begin to actually be processed and interpreted. The auditory cortex is responsible for processing and interpreting the sound information and allowing us to understand speech and recognize different sounds. It's allowing you to understand this video right now. The anatomy of the ear and process of hearing, as well as the auditory pathway, are all important concepts to understand when learning about the sense of hearing for the MCAT. Thank you so much for watching our video on audition, and I will see you next time.